This is an overview of the review platform. Some of these features are for paid users only and some of them are for free users. What we're logging into right now is a upgraded paid account, which gives you plenty more features to work with. The free platform is essentially the same with the elimination of a few key features. What we're logging in as today is an upgraded account and you'll see a dashboard that looks just like this. If you are a free user, you'll see one tile here that you can directly manage your tap review items. If you're on the upgraded account, you'll have the ability to manage multiple review locations. In this case, a BMW location, a Remax location, a Popeyes location, and you know, a tap tag location. On this profile, you'll see a couple of useful features where you can view where your tap tags direct to. In this case, if you were to tap my tap review card for Popeyes and we hit view, if you tap my card, you'll see that it goes directly to a Google review page with the post. If you are not signed into Google or into your Gmail account, a Google sign in will pop up first here. This feature is free for all users to direct straight to your Google review page. A couple other cool features is you can share your profile. So if we click the share button, you can copy your review link and you could share this any way that you want to. You can add this to your email signature. You could text it to somebody. You can email it to somebody. It is essentially just a website link that you can share around. Anybody who clicks this link, scans your QR code or taps one of your tap tags does count as an analytic that you can then track later on. In this share tab, you have the ability to share directly via email, directly via Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, on Messenger, and we could even show you how to add it to your Instagram bio or your YouTube bio. More of these will be coming soon. You can, of course, edit your profile. If we hit edit right here, you could change where your Google link goes to. In this case, it's already going to Popeye's Google review page, but if we wanted to search another business, for example, perhaps um, we have a great gyro place down the corner here. We could type in Athena Gyro and it'll pull up right here on Main Street in Fishkill, New York. And then if we click that, it'll generate a new review link. All we would have to do is hit save profile and now it will go to this gyro location review page. Again, that is a free feature for all. Next, we have a QR code. This QR code is directly associated with your tap tags and your tap profile. Anybody who scans this QR code will be directed, in this case, to this Popeyes page. But if we were to edit and direct it to somewhere else, the QR code and all of your tap tags connected to this profile will also update in unison. Anybody who scans that QR code or taps the review link or views anything associated with this profile, it does count as an analytic. For free users, you have access to this little graph right here that shows you a seven day look back of your page views. This is not how many reviews were left, but simply how many times people viewed your QR code or tapped your card or simply viewed your link to go to your review page. You can check your actual reviews by clicking the GMB dashboard, which allows you to log in directly to Google and see any reviews and from there you can reply to them. Your QR code is dynamic. Like I said, you could change anything about this profile and it will update your QR code automatically. Even if you printed it out and put it on copy paper, it'll update your QR code in real time. For upgraded users, you'll have access to analytics. Clicking this analytics page will bring you to a more in-depth analytics. You can set a custom date range. You could choose which location you want to view analytics for. You could see averages on a monthly or daily basis. You could also see unique visitors, page reviews for that given date range and how many reviews were captured by the review filter. I'll go over what the review filter is right now. Let's go back to this main page. The next thing I wanna go over is the more tab. What the more tab allows you to do is track your paired items. So if you have say multiple tap tags, say you have a tap keychain, a tap card, and a tap bracelet that all go to your Google page. If you clicked on pair items, they would show up right here. In this case, there are no paired items. An upgraded feature that is offered for upgraded users is the ability to add to Apple Wallet. What this does is it adds your QR code right to your Apple Wallet. Now, without your card or your tap tag items, say you're at soccer practice, you could pull up your QR code right on your Apple Watch or your Apple phone to show to other users that they could scan right off your screen. For upgraded users, we have a couple additional features that we offer. I wanna go over them right now. So you already saw that we offer for all users that if we click on the profile, it goes direct to your Google page here. If we exit out of that, we have a couple of different options. We also have an option called Review Plus. To change these options, you click on this blue button right here and it gives you the three options that we choose. There may be more options added soon just for your information. In this case, this Remax page is going to Review Plus. What we already reviewed was direct straight to a third-party review page, which is available for all free users and comes by default on all of our items. An upgraded version is Review Plus. And what that does, it allows the user 
to add multiple review sites to one single page. When my item is tapped or scanned or my QR code is scanned with the camera, it goes to a page like this, which allows you to see your Google review, your Yelp review, your Better Business review, and you could add up to 12 different buttons here for your user to select from. So in this case, perhaps they don't wanna leave a review on Google. They might be more of a Yelp reviewer. It allows them the ability to click on Yelp and go directly to this Remax Yelp page. If we go back, they also have a contact us button. What this does, if the user maybe is not satisfied completely or wants to give you an opportunity to fix the situation, they can click this button and it takes them to a contact page, which allows them to fill out this information. And this information gets sent to the admin user of the review account that we are going over now. We exit here. We do have one more option for review upgraded users. If we click this button, the third option is called review filtration. And if you have this set up, I believe BMW is set up with review filter. If we go to this page, this essentially presents a dummy profile to users who tap or scan your QR code or your tap tag. This page is designed to kind of vet the user to see where they fall on the customer satisfaction scale. If they click one to three stars on this dummy review page, say we click three stars and hit submit, it takes them to a contact form to allow them to vent their concerns and allow you the opportunity to fix it before actually leaving an official review on a major platform that you can't necessarily edit in the future. In this same exact scenario, if we were to tap the card or view the QR code and I'm a happy customer and I hit five stars, I could hit submit. And now it goes to a very helpful page that allows me to then leave my final review on Google, Yelp, or Trustpilot. These are the three different options that we offer here. If you wanted to link a new tap tag or create a new profile, you certainly can. Again, free users have the ability to create one free profile while upgraded users have the ability to create an infinite amount of upgraded profiles. You have your notification center up here if you wanted to see your notifications. You have your admin controls where you can access billing, you can upgrade and downgrade your services, and you also have access to our TapTag website if you're interested in getting more products. That concludes our overview of the Review Capture dashboard. I hope you have a wonderful day.